Hi there, and welcome to 106 Consulting. Today we're going to show you how to navigate the main layout and tools in Primavera P6. The P6 interface is made up of six basic elements. First, there is a menu bar at the top of the screen that provides access to all the main features and functions of P6. Below this menu area is the main horizontal toolbar, providing quick access to features that are common to most of the views you will use. To the extreme left and right of the screen are two vertical toolbars. These provide additional access to features and functions that are mostly concerned with accessing and modifying the main functional areas of P6. The left-hand toolbar in particular is primarily focused on navigation of the main views. At the very bottom of the screen is the horizontal information bar that displays general data about a selected project, the user logged in, and other common items that are helpful quick reference about the system. Upon your initial entry to the main working area of P6, the screen is split into three sections. The top left section of the screen contains the table area. The top right section is a graphical area called the Gantt chart. These two sections are separated by a movable vertical divider. These two sections make up the top layout. The lower half of the screen is known as the bottom layout. This area is separated from the top half of the screen by a movable horizontal divider. By default, the content of the bottom layout is a set of tabs that display detailed information about an item selected in the top half of the screen. All of the main views in P6 can be modified, switched off or resized by you, depending on what you need. For example, you can switch the bottom layout off using the View Menu's Show on Bottom option if you want more detail displayed in the vertical pane. Or you can switch off the Gantt chart to leave just the table displayed if you need more room in the horizontal pane. Both these items can be restored using the same menu options. Tool Groups Now let's turn our attention to the vertical toolbar on the left-hand side of the screen. It is made up of three main segments known as Tool Groups. The first of these groups is named Standard and contains three buttons. New used for creating a new project, open, used to open an existing project, and close, used to close a project. We'll cover the concept of opening and closing projects in the next lesson. The next two tool groups are enterprise and project. These are used to navigate among the major views available to you in P6. Starting with the enterprise tool group, from top to bottom, the buttons are, Projects, used to open the Projects view. Resources, used to open the Resources view. Reports, used to open the Reports view. And Tracking, used to open the Project Tracking view for in-progress projects. Notice that as each button is clicked, a tab is added to the main window area. You can use these tabs to quickly navigate between these open views. Now let's look at the Project tool group. From top to bottom, these are Activities, opens the Activities view. This is the main view used to develop and manage your schedule. It is likely the view you will spend the most time using during the project's lifecycle. Work Breakdown Structure, opens the WBS view. This view is used to develop and maintain the project's work breakdown structure. Resource Assignments, a view that provides a detailed look at the resources assigned to your project. Next is WPs and Docs, or Work Products and Documents, a view that allows you to manage documentation associated with your project. The Calculator button represents the Project Expenses view, where you can assign planned, actual and remaining costs to a project for such items as material, equipment, travel, and so on. 
Finally, there's the Risks button that provides a view for entering and tracking potential risks that might occur during the project's lifecycle. Of all the views, the Projects view, WBS view, and Activities view are considered the main views for developing and managing your project schedule. Top and bottom layout tool groups. The next set of navigation tools to examine are the top and bottom layout tool groups. These are used to change the data displayed in the table, Gantt chart, and details area of P6. Starting with the top layout tool group, the buttons available are as follows. Table, used to display only the table area. Gantt chart, used to switch on the Gantt chart area. Activity Network displays the project activities as nodes in a precedence network rather than as bars. Relationship Lines toggles the relationship lines in the Gantt chart on or off. Chart View Active in the WBS view allows you to display the work breakdown structure as a WBS chart. Now let's look at the bottom layout tool group. These options modify the appearance of the bottom half of the screen. Let's take a closer look at this tool group. The Details button. This one switches on the Details area at the bottom of the screen if it's been toggled off. Activity Usage Spreadsheet. Displays the project activities with a time phase spreadsheet of the labor hours or costs. Activity Usage Profile. Displays a profile of all or selected activities as a histogram. Resource Usage Spreadsheet. This displays a list of resources being used on the project with a time phase spreadsheet of the hours or costs for the selected resource. Resource Usage Profile. Displays the resource loading as a time phased histogram. Trace Logic. This option displays a logic network diagram that is useful for walking through the activity network to examine relationships in detail. The Display Tool Group The final set of tools to explore is the Display Tools. These allow you to zoom in and out in the Gantt chart area or rearrange the order of the main view tabs. Let's take a closer look. The Zoom In and Zoom Out buttons adjust the time scale of the Gantt chart. The next tool is the Zoom to Best Fit button. The next three are the New Horizontal Tab Group, Merge All Tab Groups and New Vertical Tab Group. These buttons are active when you have more than one tab open. As you can see, they reorganize the panes on the screen to accommodate the views in a horizontal or vertical configuration. Clicking the Merge All Tab Groups button will bring everything back to the default configuration. If you'd like to learn more about Primavera P6, then 10.6 offers some great online training courses. These courses are written by industry experts and offer you all the skills you need to get up and running as a P6 scheduler. For more information, visit our website at 10.6.com for full details on how to get started.